Hey everybody, Mike Wrench Mike here. We are enjoying the accommodations here of the Bronze Beamer. Yep, this is video five as we continue to get this old girl back on the road. Today, we're going where no man has gone before. All right, you might know what this jumbled mess is right here. It's a boroscope. Yep, it's a wireless boroscope. It's gonna to connect to the phone and give us a look inside each of the six cylinders. Looks like a snake, doesn't it? So, take a look at what I've been doing. Yeah, in this crate, we have been rust-proofing the car. She's looking better and better every single day. And look at the steering wheel. See something different? Yep, I put a little leather reek on it little bit of leather eek. I need to wipe it off. It's a little tacky right here still, but doesn't that look better? That's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Let's go to the engine and we're going to take a look inside each of the six cylinders. All right, the idea is to insert this. I hate that word, insert. Okay, we're going to put the camera inside each of the six cylinders. Now, because I only have my iPhone here, we're going to have to do this through the app for this guy right here. Depstec, Depstech, Depstec, I don't know, whatever it's called. you an idea of what we're doing today yep we're gonna add some NGK spark plugs and this is what I read on several websites this is what you want to get remember the old crappy ones that came out yep this is what you want to put in that right there ZGR 5a and behold what we have done yep we have our spark plugs right there gapped and we have anti anti C's on them and we have them fully set according to specs so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these in the engine, you're gonna to listen to a little music, we're gonna attach the spark plugs, use a little dielectric grease right there, and then we're going to use this. Why? Well, you gotta stay tuned to find out. Now, it is time to use our special tool, specialty tool. Yep, that's it right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jumper the fuse, not the fuse, the fuel pump, okay? Under your cover here, this is the fuel pump relay. This is the main relay I'm reading. Okay, so if we jump 30 and, what is it? 30 and 86, 87, 30 and 87, we should have some fuel come out right here. Okay, watch right there for me. Okay. 
Okay. Look at that. You know what? That does not look too bad. That really doesn't. We're going to put some new fuel in there. We're going to give it a try. Yep, this is it. For the first time in a long time, the E30, the 1987 325 BMW, comes to life. Are you ready? Here we go. Watch this and listen. Lovely. She is so close. Okay, the only thing I'm worried about is that wire right there. It goes, it's the uh, pulse monitor. It goes from there into the computer somehow. And I think if that's broken, then maybe she won't start. But she sounds good, doesn't she? This right here, I tried to uh, solder it, but you know how those things go. There. <sighs> we'll give it one more turn, and then we're going to get some gasoline, just in case she is completely dry, which would be okay with me, because that means I don't have to worry about really, well, I want to say bad gas, but I've already put it in the engine. <laughs> okay, here we go. One more try. Yeah, we're going to get some gasoline. Well, the sun's going down, and I just received the new... Spark plug wires. Yep, take a look at that. So what I've done, I'm still in my dress clothes. I just can't wait to see if this thing is gonna help or not. So we're gonna put this on. Okay, we're gonna figure out which goes where on the distributor right there. And we're gonna replace the old with the new. Then we're gonna give her a crank. Well, the moment has arrived. And of course, like an idiot, Mike left the key on. So the battery is almost dead. But we have the new spark plug wires. Aren't they great? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is finger, finger. We're gonna cross our fingers. <laughs> we're gonna say a little prayer. Come on, and we're gonna give it a start and we're just gonna see what happens, okay? I have no idea. I really don't have any idea. I'm hoping she will be good for me, but let's just kind of see what happens. Step one, get the key in. Why is that so difficult, Mike? Here we go. Okay, we have the key turned, we have lights. Are you ready? Here we go, say it with me. Come on, baby, give her a go. Oh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. Listen to this, here we go, you ready? Do it again, do it again, do it again. This is it. This is not it. They put the key so awkward to get to. It's like you're supposed to be sitting down to turn the key or something. I don't understand it. Okay, now we have lights again. Here we go. She's going to do it. We're going to be positive. Yes, sir. Here we go. She's so close. Here we go. One more time. like she wants some gas or something. Let's try that. I still got my good pants on. Okay, here we go. Where's the gas pedal? Okay. Oh, this is another car that's being delivered. Stay tuned. Okay, stay tuned. All right, we're back. It's another morning, another cup of coffee. I can't show you too much because I got another vehicle parked over there they delivered last night. So I'm out of control. I'm totally out of control with these purchases and I have to stop. I should drink more coffee and buy less cars. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we got the battery. We had to recharge it last night. It's all ready to go. I'm going to roll down my windows. I'm going to hopefully not damage the car next to me. And we're going to give this one a turn. And we're going to hope that she starts. 
I can't even find the key. Oh, come on now. Here we go. All right, here we go. You ready? Lights are on. We're feeling positive about this. Here we go. Listen. Okay, that was a good sign. That was a really good sign. Let's do it again. Okay, what are we missing? We have spark, we have fuel, we have air. I'm sitting on this railing, it's going right up my crack, and it hurts. Let's do a little gas. Come on. We're gonna put this on pause. We're gonna to go to the junkyard. We're gonna get a crankshaft position sensor because they happen to have an 87 325. Who'd have thunk? It's a four door. It's the same CPS. So we're gonna give that a try and then we'll order a new one when that one doesn't work, okay? Yeah, let's make a plan. And then we have to go to the Mercedes dealer because I have to get another part for a mystery car. And then we have to get this mystery car a try as well. All these cars I buy that don't run, I'm so smart.